Hello everyone, I am Surabhi. Welcome to my channel. Today again I am reviewing two books, one fiction, one non-fiction, which is from my home library. So uh, it means we really love them. And I want to give you a sneak peek of the books so that it helps you to decide do you want to buy or not want to buy. It fits in your uh, family lifestyle or it will be loved by your kids or not. So I uh, will be reviewing this one. It's again a very world famous book, the book with no pictures and one from the own publications about ecosystems, um, the network of life. So uh, let's start with the first one, the book with no pictures. So it's a world famous book. You will have tremendous and amazing reviews of this book uh, on YouTube, on Amazon. And uh, I also got it from a, for a recommendation from library first, when my kids were like you know, three and four year old, I got it from library. And when I read it, I did not like it. I did not find anything funny in this book. And I was like, um, why it is so well recommended? And, but still I had it so I thought okay let me read to my kids they were on the floor rolling they laughed and laughed and laughed and though I did not find any reason to laugh but they laughed and they did not let me uh, put the book down and it happened like for two or three months okay every month they'll borrow it from the library and ask me to read so, like then finally I said okay even I don't like this book I'll get this book I mean on, on our library I purchased the book because my kids loved it and even now, I'm talking about when they were three to four year old and now I'm talking about when they are right, six and seven year old. Now though when they are like more witty, they are more, uh, you know, we have more uh, control over which books they want to pick up and you know, they understand the meaning of each words and everything. And uh, they're more like uh, friends now to us. They pick up this book intentionally every single time just because it makes fun of the person who's reading it. Even their father, who is not a reader, who doesn't read books to them ever, they will like intentionally, can Baba read this book for us? Please, Baba, can you read this book for us? Because it again makes fun of the person who is reading it. I still don't find it funny. Trust me, I don't find it funny. But my kids just crack. I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll read the book to you. I don't think any adult brain may find it funny. I don't find it. But uh, try reading this book to your kid. My kids love it, so I thought I'll review it for you. So this is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. So it is really well printed and good size of phone, so you know kids can read it. My girls can read it now. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say no matter what that's the deal that's a rule so that means even if the words say blurf wait what that doesn't even mean anything blurf wait a second what this is a kind of book i wanted to read and i have to say everything the word says the book says oh oh I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And my kids will crack up. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. And my kids will start laughing and laughing and laughing. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? The kids are still laughing on a continuous loop. And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading please? And kids will shout. No mama. And now it's time for me to sing you a favorite song. A song. Do I really have to sing? So this all is written here. Okay. I'm not saying anything from my end. It's written. Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast. Yak, right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it? No. There are more pages. I have to read the rest. Yes. That's my kids will shout at the full volume, cracking and laughing still. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Bird. Boo-boo butt! 
and also the kid I'm reading this book is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, is it so? And the kids will shout, yes, mama. And then, and this kid is the smartest kid too because this kid chose this book. Even this had no pictures because these kids know that this is the book that we grown-ups have to say silly things hmm, and make silly sounds like uh oh, oh no, here it comes. <gasps> Look at this speech. Glarform, foam, da, wak, ui, ui, grabby, blagity, blagity, gabity, globity, globity, gabity. I, 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 I did not make anything. Everything is written here. And you have to give this kind of expressions and read that. And if I even miss one, like if I miss one glibity here, my girl will come, mama, mama, you missed that word. That is the level of craziness for this book in a house. So I am supposed to read each single word on this page. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It's so silly. And that is completely, utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Because this is just too ridiculous to read. And then, the end. Bunk! I didn't want to say that. And my kids will go on rolling on the carpet, like laughing and laughing and laughing. And like, Mama, please eat me was one time. And yeah, I don't find it still very funny. But when I read it, I imagine my kids. I was reading and I was imagining if my kids would have been here next to my chair, they would be laughing and laughing and laughing. So, your choice if you want it. But I tell you, kids love it. I still don't make sense of it. So, okay, next, moving to the next book. Uh, Ecosystems, the network of life. So again, I bought it before COVID, so two years back, one and a half years back when I was on my India trip, two years back. So um, again, we were introducing science to my kids when my girl was about five year old. And I was thinking like, what concepts do I need to teach her, which I need books for? Like for plants, I know to read books. I can tell, you know, feel the plants and look at the green color and everything, whatever basic I want to teach. Uh, pollution, I can teach just like that, like, you know, see the the same fuels and everything but this concepts like ecosystem this was something which topic i really liked about the food chains about the food webs which i could not explain much but i wanted a book for it so um i did not find any uh, child centric or like child language that you know precise content kind of book so this was a book i gave a trial uh i mean i just picked it up randomly on amazon it has okay reviews and uh, it was not very expensive also i don't know the price but it was not expensive so i thought let me give it a try and let's see what kind of content this book has and does it solve my purpose of introduction of concept of uh, ecosystem about food bear food chain to my kids so this was good enough so i will just uh, read very basic the words are really uh big i mean like, not like huge big but good enough uh so that uh kids can read it's it's kid friendly kind of so it, it's again a for it is told in a form of story not like a lecture or science documentary so it is still enticing to my kids it was a beautiful sunday morning jane and judy were standing by their bedroom window suddenly jane exclaimed look judy there's a small mound of sand in the middle of a garden where did that come from it is an anthill Antlers underground. They make colonies by digging it up. Like that they tell about ants. Then they talk about ecosystem like I don't like ants. Well, ants like all other living creatures are an important part of an ecosystem. Ecosystem? What is ecosystem, Judy? The plants and animals as well as the non-living things that are found in a particular area are referred as an ecosystem. Such simple clean definition. The plants and animals present in the ecosystem are dependent on each other as well as on their environment for survival. That's it. So they show that all the animals, who living, non-living uh, things and plants, animals, everyone makes an ecosystem. Okay, then they talk about it, different kind of ecosystems also. They talk about forest, they, uh, forest ecosystem, they talk about mountain ecosystem, then they talk about desert you see, they talk about desert ecosystem. They talk about underwater ecosystem. Very basic, one one paragraph, no much details. And uh, then here they explain the simple food. And this food chain, even my little one who doesn't read at all, but uh, 
you know that's what i'm telling very simple uh, graphic explanation it i could explain to my little one six year old that you know this uh, so she if you ask her to explain that's what we do we do a, a read a non fiction book and i ask them questions so can you explain me food chain can you explain to me how does food chain work do you explain what is the ecosystem i just ask very very basic questions to make sure that do they understand the concept which i talk about so my sixth one will really explain to me okay mama plants eat uh, create food because of sunlight and then uh, the insect will eat the plants the frog will eat the uh, insect snake will eat the frog and frog will eat be uh, snake will be eaten by the vulture and then vulture will die and i why the vulture will die because vulture does not have any predator so he is the top of the food chain that's it that's it and i think that's more than enough for a 6 year old to understand so now it it explained the food chain very clearly that you know animals and human beings who eat these plants are known as primary consumers animals that eat other animals are called secondary consumers earthworms are called decomposers and they eat the body of dead creatures so this then this information i am not expecting my 6 and 7 year old to remember or to tell me in that form but i am still keeping this book for a keepsake that when they will be starting writing uh, uh, if i mean book report or something maybe when they are 9 to 10 year old i would refer back to this book for a simple uh, graphic explanation with appropriate and precise amount of words to write that what a decomposer do what are primary consumers what i am not going back to the textbooks like i read all these things in my text school textbooks i'm not going to them i am going to refer to these books which uh, they can graphically draw see and then write a simple definition in their book report or book summary whatever they want to do and then in the end it always always tells you that you know what humans are you know we are spraying the chemicals we are destroying the ecosystem we are creating the pollution and we are cutting the trees so all the animals so now uh, like we say that you know monkeys are coming to our area because we are damaging the ecosystem so this has this book simple book has brought ecosystem food chains food web pollution in our vocabulary routine web vocabulary when i'm just walking and talking to them so you know that's how we do science and that's why i love these kind of basic child friendly books that you know love your earth don't cut the trees take care of everything and uh, we owe to earth so these are the very good book for uh, 5 6 7 year old child just to read aloud just so that the books they can refer back to when they are free to understand what earth what we are doing what is ecosystem and just basic science concepts when we are not introducing any curriculum at the stage for the science so we love these books uh, and i will link them below if you want to buy them from amazon india otherwise you can just search us okay thank you so much for watching bye bye